But this video is to go through the marking points for the resting potential and how resting potential is maintained. I'll run through the diagram first and we'll look at the mark points. Essentially what's happening here we have the membrane of a neuron. We see that the membrane of the neuron is positive on the outside and negative on the inside. This is maintained through these intrinsic proteins which are in the phospholipid layer. Now I include this because sometimes a question will come up about why these ions need to move through the channel proteins uh, and through the pump. And that being because, being ions, they are not lipid soluble so they cannot pass through the biphospholipid layer. The charge is maintained primarily through this pump here, which pumps three positive sodium ions out and two potassium ions in. This uses energy from the hydrolysis of ATP and because more positives are on the outside than there are on the inside, we get this relative charge of being more positive on the inside and therefore negative on the, uh, sorry, more positive on the outside and negative on the inside. Also, a potassium channel is open. This allows diffusion of potassium, a positive ion, to the outside of the cell, helping to maintain the positive charge on the inside. Notice as well that any sodium channels which are on the membrane remain closed, thereby stopping the diffusion of sodium into the membrane, well, through the membrane into the cell, reducing the positive charge on the inside and keeping it more negative. If we look at the mark points on this, as again I've mentioned at the top there, the section about the biphospholipid layer, just to bring in how these ions are not lipid soluble and therefore cannot travel through the membrane. Resting potential is usually around minus 70, although that does vary, so expect it to be something different, but it would all be, it would be a negative number. We see here that we've got the sodium and potassium ion pump. Three sodium out, two sodiums in, maintaining this more negative charge on the inside. Make sure you say that it's by active transport and that it uses the energy from the hydrolysis of ATP. Again, people sometimes say that it uses ATP, it doesn't, it uses the energy. Mention as well the sodium channel protein. Don't confuse it with a pump, it's just a normal channel protein for facilitated diffusion. Uh, and obviously this results overall in a greater concentration of positive ions on the outside of the cell, which keeps this negative charge on the inside. 